Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So my name is Lindsay, and today's video, I am doing one that has been requested for a while now. You guys wanted me to do a dedicated video on my top favorite nude lipsticks, and I am a sucker for a good nude lip. Pretty much all I wear, and I have some really good ones that I've put together. I tried to put some in there that can work on all types of skin tones as well. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Before we get into it, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and push bell notifications so you never miss out on any of my future uploads. And everything that I mentioned that can be linked will be down in my description as well as all my social medias if you guys want to follow me on there as well so yeah let's go ahead and jump straight in I've tried to throw in a variety of brands but you're gonna notice that a lot of these are Mac cosmetics lipsticks I personally think Mac is hands down one of the best when it comes to new lipsticks they always just nail it and this first one I'm gonna talk about is just an OG favorite it is available. All these are going to be available, the ones that I'm talking about. I have a lot of limited edition ones that are some of my favorites, but they're not available, so I didn't see any point in mentioning them. But this first one right here is called MAC Blankety. And when I say this is the perfect nude, it is. If you mix it with MAC Spice Lip Liner, oh, it looks so good. So, so here is a swatch of how it looks right here really pretty kind of like a little bit of a cool neutral nude lipstick right here this one is from their amplified collection and like i said if you pair this up with my um mac spice lip liner looks so good i also like to use nyx nude beige lip liner to pair with this one as well and i'm actually wearing this one today right here sometimes i can darken it up if i want to go in with a darker lip liner but if i'm just doing like a really muted nude lip that's what I go for is the MAC blankety with the MAC spice lip liner this next one I'm going to talk about is from Lime Crime, and this is one of their liquid matte lipsticks. This is in Virgo. Such a beautiful nude shade. The formula on this one is super smooth, and it doesn't dry. This is a very, very nude shade. If you are a lighter skin tone, this is going to be probably your perfect nude. I like this one because it's really long-wearing, and the shade is just, like I said, one of those perfect nude lips. I have another liquid lipstick right here. This one is from Smashbox. This one is their always on liquid lipstick. This is in Rouge A. Another really pretty nude. This one is also a matte. If you are a darker skin tone, this one would be perfect. This has a lot more, kind of like a corally undertone to it right here, but super pretty. This one is really long wearing as well. We have is another MAC bullet. This is in their satin collection. This one is shrimp. This is the swatch and usually it's just like one swipe coverage right here. This one feels really good, really comfortable on the lips. You could go with any of those lip liner combos that I mentioned right here and this is going to be a really, really pretty nude is one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is a little bit of a darker nude, I guess you would say, but this is liquid lipstick in Coco K. And here's what that looks like. Like I said, this is a little bit on the darker side for a nude lipstick, but I still think it's in the nude category. Category. It's a really pretty pink nude. Love this one. Some of her liquid lipsticks, lipsticks do dry me out. Um, so I'm not really big on the whole Kylie Cosmetics, but this one shade that I have right here, I can deal with it, especially if I pair it up with a lip gloss. I feel like it's not really as drying because sometimes it can really dry me out, but also it like kind of beads up. So if you pair it with a lip gloss, it's not going to be as bad. Next up, we have one from Milani Cosmetics. This is a matte lipstick in shade Innocent. This is a very muted nude shade. It's a very pale nude. If you are a lighter skin tone, this is going to look really pretty on you. I mean, of course, this could work on any skin tone, but if you are lighter, it's going to be probably one of your just a really perfect nude for you. A lot of it has to do with your skin tone, your undertones, but this one is really pretty. Sometimes it's a little too light for me if I'm really tan, so I will just like pop it in the middle parts of my lips for a little highlighter 
or if I want to tone down a bold lip, this one is perfect. I have restocked on this one from Milani at least three times. Really good go-to nude lipstick. That's Milani in Innocence. And it is a matte lipstick, so it's a little bit more long wearing. And then next up I have one, now this is a really pretty nude lip gloss. This one is from Maybelline. This is from their Vivid Hot Lacquer. And I wanna say I did check and these are still like in production. I know a lot of times stuff with Maybelline and drugstores, like it gets discontinued as soon as you buy it. But from what I saw, this one is still in stock. This is also a really, really pale nude. Such a pretty lip gloss though. You see that right there? So pretty. What shade did I say this was in? This is in T's. So I love to just kind of go over right in the middle, pop this in the middle for a really pretty nude lip. I'll put this over my lipstick and lip liner and good to go. Another really pretty MAC nude lipstick. This one is Peach Stock. This is another satin lipstick right here this one is more on the it's got a really orange undertone to it but I know it looks a little little off on camera right now but this is also another really pretty nude especially if you pair this with a shade or two darker lip liner it's gonna be really pretty I think this one would be great on honestly any skin tone right here and I love Max satin lipstick formula I love the way it feels on my lips, and not only is it soft, but it is also long wearing. Another MAC one I have. Now this one, when I say it's nude, I mean this one is nude. She is stripped down, bare naked, nude. This one is bare bling. You can see right here, like it almost looks white. This is one that you're going to want to be more on the pale side, or if you do use it, you're not gonna wanna go all over your lips with it. You're gonna wanna kind of mix it in with something else, like I was saying. But this is one of my go-to nudes, especially if I wanna plop it just in the middle, right here. So that was uh, Peach Stock right here. This one is Bare Bling. This one has more of a pink undertone to it. It's not as like I said, it's it's a very, very nude lipstick, but this is one of my all-time favorites. All right, I need to wipe these swatches off so we can start fresh. A random note while I was thinking about it because my lips are really dried out right now because it's winter time here and it's like we went down to 15 degrees last night. My lips are super chapped and if you live in a cold area during the winter, you're probably like me, your lips get dried out. So I totally forgot. Um, I used to love this peach lip scrub from Too Faced right here. It smells amazing and it really does exfoliate your lips. So I've been using this the past few nights on my lips and then I'll go in with their peach lip balm right here. If you want your lipstick to lay down super smooth, if you go in and you exfoliate and then put some type of a lip balm or a lip mask, uh, another good lip mask is from Too Faced, is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. Let me show you guys what that looks like really quick. This right here, if you go in with this at nighttime before you go to bed, you wake up, your lips are gonna be so super soft and your lipstick is gonna lay down so smoothly. Really does make a huge difference. I had totally forgot. I've been dealing with chap lips, lips for the past few weeks, and I came in my room the other night to do my skincare, and I was like, wait a second. Why am I not exfoliating my lips? They're super chapped, and I forgot every time I use the Too Faced stuff, it always just, it clears up my chapped lips instantly. It really does, it just gets everything off there. So, random little side note. Next up, I have Cream Cup from MAC. This is a cream sheen lipstick. This is more of a pinky nude lip. It's a really pretty pink nude right here. And like I said, this is a cream sheen. So it's got, it almost has like a little glossy kind of effect to it, but just a really pretty pink, pink nude lip. So these next two I'm going to show you guys are actually from Too Faced. This is from their Too Faced Peach Lipstick Collection. These smell absolutely amazing. I think these are the two best nudes from this collection. And this first one I'm going to show you guys is called Doll Face. 
this nude is one of my all-time favorites it's just one of those really muted out peachy type of nudes i guess you would say i think it's the perfect nude i forget about this one a lot and every time i wear it i end up bringing it back out and like rocking it out for weeks i love this one right here i think this is another one that would look good on anybody and i really love the formula that they used on these lipsticks the next one i have from too faced is another peach lipstick and this one is called sex on the peach this one is a little bit of a darker nude lipstick this would be really pretty on darker skin tones it's got more of like a mauve undertone to it really really pretty and every time i use these i wish you guys could smell this from the camera these smell so good if you've smelled their peach setting spray or their peach um, setting powders you guys know what i'm talking about these smell absolutely amazing and i really love the packaging on these as well up is another MAC lipstick. This one is MAC Honey Love. This is actually a matte lipstick right here. This one, you guys have probably heard about this. Honey Love used to be <laughs> all the rage back in the day. I remember, I want to say I watched Jaclyn Hill and she used to love this one. So I went out and got it. Uh, this is another one that I think would be great on any skin tone. This one has more of a kind of more of a guess how you would say like a peach undertone to it but a little bit darker um i just think it's a really pretty nude i think this would be great on anybody like i said when it comes to mac they know how to do the nude lipsticks and then i have another mac one right here this is from their cream sheen this is a really really nude lipstick this is bosom friend and this is a cream sheen. This is a really nice light nude. You can almost like, you almost can't see it. More of a pink undertone. It's really sheer. Let me swipe it one more time. You guys see that right there? Just a really, really, really pretty pink nude lip. Next up is a lipstick from Laura Mercier. This one is in a cream formula this is i hope i'm pronouncing this right pesci and this one is a really pretty like peachy nude you guys can see that right there uh it's a really comfortable formula too it's kind of similar to the mac cream sheens really comfortable formula really pretty peachy nude this is another one that i think would be great on all skin tones love this one and really like the packaging on it too it's really sturdy packaging i don't know i guess you would say sturdy but it's kind of like heavy feeling and then i have another what is this is this a matte i think it's a matte this is from the nyx lingerie right here they're excess xxls this is in flaunt it this is a liquid lipstick this is a darker nude right here kind of like a mauvey color super pretty i like to tone this one down with a like a nude lip gloss a little bit or i'll pop a little bit of that mac in the middle to kind of tone this one down but this one is also a really pretty nude liquid lipstick and last nude liquid lipsticks that I have is from Beauty Creations. This one is a really pretty pink nude. This one is in classical. I actually got this in like a little sample size right here. And I want to go back and get the full version size. But this is just a little liquid lipstick in classical. A really pretty pinky, pinky kind of peach. Kind of like a mix of pinky peach, I guess you would say. But really pretty. I have one more nude lip gloss and this is a holy grail of if you want to do a nude lip or you want to kind of tone down a bolder lip and give it kind of like a neutral undertone i guess you would say this is a mac lip gloss this is mac see-through if you have not tried this you are not living this is one of my holy grails you guys this is gonna make any nude lip pop you know how they say uh, mac lip glosses for me I can put one on and my lips instantly look bigger and especially if this is a nude undertone your lips are going to be popping 
Let me get up close and show you guys a really pretty swatch of what this looks like. It's a very, very nude lip gloss. I love the way these wear. They are a little bit on the stickier side, but they're really long wearing. Highly recommend this from MAC. If you guys have not tried MAC see-through lip glass, go try it, please. So we are down to the last lipstick and I'm going to end it with a MAC one. It's in limited edition packaging, but this is just a staple in their lipstick line. This is um, Creme de Nude and I need to do my back to MAC and if you return six products, you can get a free lipstick. I need to do that because I have hit the bottom on this. I'm going to try to scrape some out to do a swatch for you guys. Give me one give me one so this one has a really peach peachy undertone to it right here this is from their cream sheen this is a perfect nude lip in my opinion i love this one right here uh, it's from their cream sheen so it's really comfortable long wearing and i don't know i just think it's the perfect nude that's why i decided to end with this one right here and if you match that up with mac spice lip liner Creme de Nude lipstick and then put the MAC see-through lip glass over top. You're rocking a nude lip for sure. I love that combo right there. So those are all of my favorite nude lipsticks. Of course I have more but I wanted to make sure I mentioned things that are still available that you guys can get and let me know down in the comments what your favorite nude lipsticks are because I'm always on the hunt for a new liquid lipstick for a new nude lipstick so definitely let me know down in the comments what some of your favorites are and let me know if you plan on trying any of these out that I mentioned I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful if you're in the market for some new nude lipsticks I will have everything linked down in the description don't forget to go follow me on all my social medias if you're not already and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and other than that I love you guys so much I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one